Las Vegas, and this is the SK Mods. Finally had time to do a freaking race. This week has been just insane. And this is not the combo I was expecting for this week. Uh, unfortunately, we missed the viewer time slot with Nick on Wednesday, as I have not been able to race since Tuesday afternoon, Tuesday evening. And uh, this is probably not going to be a combo I'm very good at. This is like the exact type of kind of track that I am... And my car's doing the thing where it won't shift. Exact type of track that I am just not good at. These ones where you have to have weird entries in order to get a good exit. And that was a mess of a start. But yeah, really weirdly shaped track. And pretty much everyone in front of us has already wrecked out. Single split. Racing this as soon as I got home. Just to try and get a video recorded and get a video out but yeah, I'm not gonna be very fast Go left. we got people exiting the pits right in the way up to second the two car might have got dumped maybe he'll go take out the leader car number one qualified next to last completely screwed up qualifying now we're gonna just try and not drive off the rest of the time 40 laps so I almost get a 1x, but yeah, definitely struggling around here for pace. But looks like we're at least going to finish second. Next closest person behind me is in, or next closest person behind me is seven seconds back. And I think we might get the win if this guy goes up here and retaliates, if he can keep it on track long enough. So we got that going for us. But yeah, this week's just been ridiculous. And I was not feeling too happy with myself after that truck race. Again, don't cut that little rumble strip. Really cool that this uh, track is being used, though. I didn't even know this uh, layout existed. I knew the uh, Las Vegas road course existed. I didn't even consider this to be a possibility. But yeah, it looks like we got second nailed down pretty pretty easily. <laughs> I don't know what the strength of field is, but I can't imagine it's very high, and I can't imagine... I mean, I should be winning this race, but I literally just got home, and I had no time to practice, so... This is not really a track. You can just jump in and perform trying to enter. I just can't figure out when to get back on the gas for turn four there. But we're doing okay. Be interesting to see the incidents after this one. I'm pretty sure the two is going to go up there and not be happy with the leader. The way it's looking. I don't know what happened up front. I wasn't close enough to see it, but maybe nothing will happen. Maybe we'll just get a very boring, easy second place. Maybe the two won't even be able to catch up to the four. I don't know. I'm going to have lap traffic up ahead. But yeah, if we were racing... We have a car stopped on the left. Go right. If we were racing the normal time slot that was actually, that would split and have a pretty high strength of field, I probably would be near the back. I'd be number two or something probably with Justin or Mitch in the race, but the two is just going to throw it away and just stop right on track in front of me. Just amazing driving all around. He did that in practice as well. But yeah, I got a 4x from him in practice where he just stopped right on the apex of the corner when I was trying to get my two or three laps in before the time ran out. And then he just self spins as a lap car right in front of me. So, very good. That's what we need A to X on a 40 lap race. with hardly any 
time on track. I don't need safety rating anyway, it doesn't matter. But, just pretty dumb. There's only like three people on track right now, <laughs> so not good for a video. But I had to get something recorded and this was quick. I'm not going to have time to run NIS this week, unfortunately. Literally the one week I wanted to, but oh well. I'll get B open done. I'll do an A open race if I can. Though I don't know. I, Daniel hasn't sent a setup, and I'm not sure if I trust the OSR setups for that car. We'll see. Let's get this around the stupid track for 20 more laps. No chance to catch the leader now, especially with whatever damage we have from the two car. I probably could have avoided him, but he, I mean, he just stopped right in the line. I was slowing down. There's nothing I can do. He's thrown it in so hard every lap. Yeah, work's been crazy. Been trying to find time to race, haven't had any. Been trying to get other things done. Still trying to collect crash comp or crash clips for the end of season thing. Week 13's next week. I usually try to get that video out before week 13 starts, like right at the end of the final week, but probably going to be middle of week 13 before that thing is ready. Unfortunately. Just no time to do anything. But I'm racing this early enough tonight that I should be able to do another race. Be able to get out. And maybe I'll have time tomorrow, Saturday. I don't know. I, I probably will. Late. But I planned on doing a lot of racing this week, and I just have not had any any time at all, which has sucked. Really unfortunate. I wanted to do NIS. I wanted to do an IndyCar race. I wanted to do a road race in some series. Probably not GT3, because I'm terrible. But just have not had the time. Wanted to do another NR 2003 race. I mean, I might still do that since I can record those anytime. I'd like to get those out more frequently than they have been coming out right, man, that car is because they're now. fun. And I don't have to race against other people. So I'm the only idiot in the session, thankfully frequently make mistakes and I can't blame them on anybody else so that's good right now I'm just trying not to get a 1x I don't care if I get a slowdown I'm, there's no way third place right in front of me is going to pass me so yeah really really boring race unfortunately and I apologize about that but I needed to get a race done to just get one done but this is not going to be a good showing for the points I'm not very good in the points for SKs anyway tour mods on the other hand I'm in second behind Mitch no hope of catching Mitch but I'd like to get another good run in and they're at Concord which is a fun track hopefully I'll do those some point maybe Sun no maybe I don't know I don't know when I don't think I'm gonna have any time to race Sunday either. I don't know when I'm gonna do it. Hopefully I get it done. I think I'll still finish second in points regardless. Second overall. Which is pretty good. I'll take it. That Mitch guy, he's just too quick. But I beat Nick. 
thankfully. Even without running this week, I beat him. Pretty sure. And that's the main goal. But my I rating's going to be on a steep decline starting last race, I believe. I don't think I'm going to gain hardly any, maybe lose some for this one, depending on how low the number two car was. He was division two, which doesn't mean a whole lot, but if his I rating's like a thousand, then I don't think I'm going to be in a position to be gaining any, but again, it doesn't freaking matter. I just expect it to go way down because it's way higher than it should be anyway. I'm, I feel like I'm... Go right. I hover right around... Uh, like between 3500 and 3700 I think is my speed personally. And right now it's like 4500, which is ridiculous. Two laps to go. So I just expect it to go down from here. But we'll do as good as we can every race as usual. White flag, one more Gain as much as we can get. Definitely have not been running ideal lines in this race. And there's a 1x, why not? Let's just go 5x for this race. Let's be a really good driver and go 5x. Just ridiculous. <sighs> I've been really good lately. Been really good. I had nothing to race for there. Just had to slow down for the corner, but I guess I can't manage to do that. That was like a hosted race. That was like a hosted race that had seven people sign up and then have four people quit before the end of it with one guy. With everybody, like, ten seconds away from each other. But. We'll go look at what happened. The five, I'm pretty sure got a cutting right here with how low he goes here. That's like a five second penalty or something that Nick pointed out in his video. So, four or the three. Gets run into by the six. Just a little bit of contact. Oh, and then the three brake checks him. That's pretty cool. So no harm there, that's a 4x, but then the 3 just brake checks him for no reason and that gets him spun, which is very smart. Could have kept going and been fine, you weren't going to miss that corner. And this is the 2 car. I have absolutely no idea what this was. He just turned right and spun it. Just going, he's in the lead and just turned right when he saw that rumble strip. Did he think this was the road course? I don't I don't know what that was at all. Maybe too much if you had too much brake in it, like brake bias, six gets into the fence, blows his engine. If he had too much brake bias he would have spun to the left under braking, but he just turned right. I don't I have no idea. And this is him trying to get back to the guy in the lead. Bumping over the rumble strips. Here's me bumping over the rumble strips. There's him just clipping the grass or the gravel because he's running so wide, trying to be fast. He gets so wide, jumps, jumps the rumble, clips the gravel, and then I'm just trying to stop, and he's just sliding in front of me. So good to see everyone's taking this race very seriously, and that's it. So we finish in second. The last car on the lead lap. Very, very good race. <laughs> very, very good race. Apologies for that one, but I got a race done. I guess is all I can say.